But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayer is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. Fear not is our encouragement. Still, there is a God's word for you today. One of the ways we can lessen the fear in our lives is that we need to increase our faith in God. Every day, we are facing so many difficulties and problems and hardships and obstacles that sometimes we think we cannot live a day without them and life is so hard and we are tired of living those kinds of situations. And fear cripples our confidence in God. Brothers and sisters in the Lord, I am encouraging you this moment in time, don't lose heart. They are part of your life. They are part of our lives. They are part of our uh, experiences as we go along living for God. Please know this, the devil and his minions does not want you to serve God faithfully. So what he will do, he will put everything to you that you can no longer bear those burdens in your life, plus the fear of anything that will come to you. Then brothers and sisters in the Lord, their plan, the minions of the devil's plan will be true to you. But I am challenging you this moment in time, fear not. This is what experience, this is what Zacharias and Elizabeth experienced. They are a couple. They believe in Jehovah. They believe in the promises of God in the Old Testament. They studied the word of God from the Old Testament and they stick to the kind of life that is blameless in the sight of God. But you know what? Despite their faithfulness, there is one problem that was in their faithfulness to God. Why? They have no son. It's been a long time that they have prayed. They, they applied God's laws of the Old Testament that they have learned so that their lives be pleasing in the sight of God and that God would grant their desire to have a son. But all those years, they failed. And that is the thing that causes Zacharias to fear. And by the way, his name means Jehovah remembers. The word Zacharias and the word Zechariah is the same. Not the same person. The book of the Old Testament, Zechariah, is not the same person with Zacharias here in Luke chapter 1. But their name is the same. Jehovah remembers. But here in the passage, see, Zacharias will be, or Zacharias is tasked to uh, burn uh, the altar of incense. Ang iya task sa, sa mga priest privilege ni. Kag once in a lifetime lang ni matabo sa ilang kinabuhi nga ma, mapili sila to light not to light the altar of incense. It is his time nga magsulod sa holy place. Duha ka, duha ka area ang ang holy ang tabernacle o kon ang temple. We have the holy place and the holy of holies. So si Zechariah nagsulod sa holy place because he was not a high priest, he was one of the priests and it is his lot to burn incense in the altar in the holy place. So, dito na tabo mga kauturan ang problema. Why do the angels say, Fear not! Kayman mga kauturan, sang ara na siya sa sulod sa holy place. Kabalugid kita. If you are informed, then if not, I will tell you, if you are not worthy in the holy place, Patay ka. Hindi ka pa ka-perform sa imo task kung may sala nga makita ang ginoo sa imo. Dedo ka gidayon. Walay patawad. 
Amo na ang mga kauturan, if you read the story, the people outside the tabernacle were surprised that Zechariah is too long. He spent a long time in the holy place. Thinking, basi patay na ni, or whatever, pero wala pa, wala pa may key, wala pa may pabalunga, patay na Zechariah. But that is the story. He stayed long because as he burned the altar, he saw an angel. Well, mga kauturan, dari lang sa New Testament, matingala kita, even in the Old Testament, when when people saw an angel, ang ila permida yun, result is kulbaan. Nga aman. Well, I don't know kung ang mga angels, karadlukan ni Chura, but they are informed in the Old Testament that anyone who can see God will die and they think that angels can be God. Amun na gurong concept. Zikarias, nakulbaan siya. At this time, wala sa iya bungog that angel can appear to him and tell him about what will happen next. Well, na-surprise siya. He was afraid and he was so surprised that the angel encourages him fear not. In this episode, brothers and sisters in the Lord, we can see three principles On the angel's words to Zechariah, fear not. Number one, we can see here that this fear not is a personal encouragement. The angel personally named him Zacharias. And that is very personal. Number two, not only that a personal encouragement we can see in the verse, but we can also hear, see, A prayer answered. The angel said, Thy prayer is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son. Grabe. Blessing. But the blessing causes him to be afraid. So much so, he was encouraged here. Have you experienced in your life ng blessing? Murdi pa kakatuho? Well, remember Zechariah, he experienced once in his life here in our passage. But also we can see the third thing, not only a personal encouragement, a prayer answered, but also there is a personal command. The baby Zechariah that will be born out of Elizabeth, you will call him John. What does John mean? John means God is gracious. So, Zechariah, God remembers. John, God is gracious. We can see how God works in the life of Zechariah at this time. Mga utod, na-surprise ka ba sa mga instances of fears in your life? Have you been crippled or paralyzed that you can do something for God? Instead, you, you listen to yourself and you felt afraid because... Such and such came to you in a surprise thing, brothers and sisters in the Lord. Hindi na ta maningala sa mga surprises, be it pain, blessings, whatever. Anything that causes us to fear, God knows about them. He encourages us not to fear. And I challenge you this time, do not be afraid. Whatever things that causes you to fear, whether it be surprises, Or things nga makasiling ka, tinood ni Lord, tinood ni. Stop thinking about it. Continue to believe that God can do things that will surprise you, but not to put you down, but instead to encourage you to trust Him, to encourage you to know that God remembers, that's Zachariah, that God is gracious to each one of us, that's John. This verse reminds us, of God encouraging us today fear not ayaw nag-intertinaha ang ining mga kakulba kakakubat sa sining kalibutan believe that our God is true yesterday today and forever so fear not that is God's word for you today 